the first musical moment I remember as a kid, like just getting chills and like the power of music, is seeing uh, Elton John on the Sonny and Cher show doing Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. So it was Elton and Dan, I remember, I think it was like maybe when I was 11 or so, and I remember in art class, one of my buddies, Tommy, he, he drew a skull, which is basically the skull that we use with skull, the jawless skull with black label. And I had a lightning bolt going through and it said Black Sabbath 666 or whatever. I was like, what is that? And he just goes, oh, it's a band my brother listens to, right? My older brother. But, uh, but the whole thing is I remember putting a needle on. I had never heard him before, but putting it on and being beyond terrified. You know, and then, but then I just kept listening to it and listening to it and then just loved it. So, well, you're the only guy that does that. I mean, that I know of that really does it good. You know, you could convince me that you were this mellow, really sweet young man that just liked to sit and play piano and sing love songs. And you could convince me. And then when I see you doing your other <laughs> shit, I'm convinced as well. But anyway, that's a gift. That's very cool. I, I think it's, I, I enjoy that myself. You yeah, know, no, no, no. But I mean, you know, I get when, bored sometimes, right? Well, I mean, but, you know, I mean, it's just, it's just good stuff's good stuff. I mean, you know, what we used to do back in, the, obviously, during the drinking days, you know, drinking days? me and you, oh, yeah, back in the drinking They're behind you? Now, yeah, well, now it's just it's just massive female growth hormone and Viagra and Cialis. So I mean, but the whole thing, all man root black label elixir. But no, but we'd sit up in the front until just drinking all night, listening to the Eagles, listening to Neil Young, listening to Almond Skinner, uh, the band. No, it's just basically my love for that music. And then I, yeah, exactly. Right? As much as I love listening going. to Zeppelin doing Black Dog, I love it when they do going to California. Yeah. What about stand up and shout now? Oh, for the rock movie. star, rock star. Yes, yes, yes. I was honored to put jam on your song on there. Yeah, uh, it was so crazy because you guys tur totally changed the song completely. I mean, you know, like like not the riff is well, there. Well, the middle bit. I mean, I changed yeah, the riff, you know, for the guitar ass. solo section or whatever. But uh, yeah, I put that thing in there. But I mean, the the the, the song that you wrote, you know, whatever that it was a blast plan. You like making movies? That, that I mean, was that's a killer, killer yeah. song. But making a movie like that's like a lot of work, right? I mean, did you enjoy that? No, not really. Yeah, I mean, because that was when I was still drinking. So I mean, I, when they asked me to do work on that movie, and by the way, I mean, I had a great time doing it. I mean, you know, you had Mark Wahlberg, Jennifer Aniston, and Steve Eric, everybody that was involved with the movie, all super cool people and everything. But they were like, Zach, we're gonna have you play this guy. He shoots guns and he drinks a lot of beer and he plays. See, guitar. I thought that was you. I thought they, they <laughs> nailed I got, you. I was like, and you're gonna pay me for this? <laughs> I was just like, yes. Yeah, so I mean, all day long it was just. No, it was just you just hang out until they needed you. You know, I mean, otherwise you'd be drinking, lifting weights, hanging out, playing guitar. So no, I had a great time doing it. Zach, it's a pleasure. Uh, you oh, look a hundred times better than the last time I saw you, which has got to be 15 years ago when you were drinking, I guess, because you look a lot better now. So whatever you're doing, oh, I'd keep doing it. it. I'll support you now. You don't have to buy my. Don't do it. No, don't do it. I, I don't want to tempt you. Trust me, I still got a lot of my buddies that love drinking. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. It's all good, man. Thanks for doing my show. Not Zach Wow, well. one of the wild men of all time. You know, one of the coolest things about playing rock festivals is, you know, you never know who you're going to run into because I've, you know, I've been around a long time. And, you know, I've met these guys and Rat and Collective Soul all these years, and you know, Zach Wilder there, you know. And uh, if I'm running into them, we're going to, we're going to kind of pick their brain a little bit. We'll find out what the hell they've been doing and what they plan on doing. Guys, I, I was told that you were playing right before me on on our stage, and I and I was I was pissed. I'm going fuck that man. We're like a <laughs> we're like a classic rock band. We're not heavy. We just you know play rock and roll. But so I'm glad to hear you're playing on a different stage. By the way, so, <laughs> I was asking for some folk music before we played. You know what I mean? Damn. Sure. <laughs> I've had it. We Paul Binder here. He's the greatest guy in the world. We have folk beat. Folk beat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, peace, guys. Enjoy Stephen Piercy, okay? Rat, the original rat. We're gonna be rocking with you? Yeah. yeah. I, have you guys, you play, are you no, playing on this stage? we're playing with you. On, uh, on the other stage. We're opening for you, my friend. Good. Oh shit, there's there's Lizzie from Hailstorm. I wanna go visit her. I wanna, I wanna talk to her. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we've got Hailstorm here. Hi. Now, so um, Hailstorm, that'd be like it's like 
cold heat. It's like, you know, what's the idea besides your last name? Well, you, you gotta be careful what you name your band because yeah. uh, the bad weather kind of follows us, so, yeah. <laughs> My last name is Hale, so it's his obviously, so yeah, yeah. fell into that. Brother and sister, cool. so yeah. that's probably easier on you guys than two brothers, you know what I mean? I mean, you know, I played with two brothers oh, for 11 years. It went good for nine years, and when it went bad, it really went bad. <laughs> oh, so, oh, I don't know. All right, well, uh, you're a Gibson girl. Mm -hmm, I, I like that. I'm a Gibson guy. I can't. What's the difference between a Strat? Like, if you pick up a Strat, how does it affect your playing compared to when you pick up a Gibson? Um, with a Gibson, it doesn't feel, to me, it doesn't feel like a toy. It feels like I could probably bludgeon somebody if I had to. And, and it's, <laughs> it's no, a it's, just, it's, a, it's a baseball bat, man. Yeah. You, just, you, you pick it up and you feel like a rock star. You feel it cool. makes me play different. Yeah. You know, it really does. If I play a Strat, I start playing a certain way, and I don't like the way I play. Yeah, and I, it's I start getting very singer song ready, I think. Well, nothing wrong with that. Little, little, Wait a little, minute, you gotta have a good bit. song now. Hold on. I know, but what about the rock stance? Well, the, yeah, I know, Strat, yeah. no. Yeah. Well, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm that serious. guy? Yeah. No. I'm old, I'm old, and I'm going. you guys are going on before me, so just take it easy on an old man, please. Uh, Jimmy, That's all uh, I ask of you, darn it. There, there's no age in rock and roll. Oh, there isn't anymore? No, no. Whew, I'm safe. Great to meet you, man. I'm going to break the rules. Ozzy's still here. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm a I'm, I made a commitment to my wife and my family that I'm going to be the oldest living rock star, because they're all dying. Awesome. I mean, like like so, this every day, yeah. you know? So I'm going to say, I will, someday I'll be the oldest up? living rock star. 92, so like... I don't know if I'll go on stage, but I'm gonna be alive. <laughs> the fuck out of state. Look at, oh, you're eating meat. Oh, you're eating meat. I'm glad to see that. Sorry, listen, I'm real happy to see this. Here we are. We are with the ultimate rock star. Well, Mr. Hager. There's two of us now. <laughs> Sully, so how have you been? I'm good. The first time I met you, I was really tripping that because, you know, you got smacked. You know, it's like fucking heavy and deep. And, and then you were like so mellow. You had this environment in your dressing room. You still put all that environment up with all the, you know. Yeah, the, when we're legit on tour, we kind of bring a vibe with us because, as you know, you've been yeah. on the road for many years yourself. And, you know, you got to have a little piece of home with you because you can go crazy. But I was impressed by that because, you know, you like say your music is so heavy and your lyrics and and your attitude and, and uh, on stage. And then now you're telling me about this other side of you where you're actually doing a, a, a mellow record with strings and stuff and all that. Yeah, you know, solo or you have stuff. Solo stuff. Yeah, because you know, I've been a musician my whole life. My dad's a musician. You know, he's a trumpet player and I grew up under the piano. And so there's other instruments. I love to play other music styles I like to listen to and I don't get to explore that as much with Godsmack because now over the years we've identified what Godsmack is and it's more of a powerhouse ACDC-ish kind of rock band, right? It's just a machine. And the, the you know the fans tell you what they want. They you know like, yeah, no, good songs. I don't know what the fuck are you gonna play? You know, and they want that. So that's what Godsmack is, you know. But the other stuff is just, it's another side that I, I really love, you know, just playing, sitting behind the piano and singing and things like that, more Billy Joel style. Oh, no, that's great. <laughs> Favorite place to go? Where do you go? Italy. Italy. Sicily. He may not come back. That's no. what happens to you best over there. You people, get that spirit, food. exactly. And you get so that good. ambience and you say, you know what? I just don't want to go back, you know? Dude, That's every time I, so I go to Italy, I feel like and, I know I And it's not her. just because I'm Italian. I really, I've been to enough That's places that I really. Lifestyle. Yeah, Italy is, they got it, they, they figured it out. It sure and they didn't let it go. Don't get your mail on time and certain things like that, but yeah. it's good. It's yeah, a good way of They're the life. most unorganized yeah. people, oh, but they don't care. And but, meals, right? It's just like oh, a whole man, thing. Yes, you, two or three you hours. Two, yeah, 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 just yeah. Have lunch. And you get to drink. It's mandatory <laughs> to drink at lunch. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Sully, it's a oh, good, man. good seeing you, good man. I'm really, I'm really, uh, Thank you. I'm really Thanks proud for of you. Having me. We're gonna go out to a greeting of seventy thousand people, probably. About 15 or 20 of them are here maybe to see me. The rest of them are just here. And that makes me nervous, but nervous is a good thing. And I'm gonna fucking go out there and make them happy. should I watch out for? You, you've been on the stage yeah, already. Yeah, people were pretty crazy oh, yeah. earlier. They yeah. responded really well when I talked about drinking at 1.30 in the afternoon. Okay, well it's not 1.30 and I no. have been drinking, so, so I'll probably go. I'll get along a little better with them or easier. So. A little easier fit. A little easier. Yeah, I think so. Well, let's hope so. Drew Haggis in the house. Oh, okay.